more junk from the curbside. And I can already tell you this one may even be worse than the last one. This is, I just glanced, like, just real quick glance at it. Stinky! <laughs> Dude, it can't be as bad as the last one. Let's find out. <laughs> ah, all right, so first up in this box of crap, keeping chickens. What? All you need to know how to care for a healthy, healthy uh, flock. Definitely don't care. I like how one of the pictures is an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, man. Exit strategy. Damn, homie. Thinking outside the box. This person was like yeah. hiding their escape from the U.S. So that's trash. Oh. Jesus. The Juniper Tree and Other Tales from Grimm. Translated by Laura Segal and Randall Gerald. Wow, this is interesting. Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Oh, Sendak? Yeah, you know the wild things are? Oh, yeah. Sendak. You know, Sendy? Sendaker? Keep like that, like, yeah, 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 homie, man. Keep him out. Let's see what stories they got. What grim tales It's it a has. horrifying cover, though, I gotta say. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's the cover, by the way. Sendak. Hideous baby. Uh, let's see what, what grim tales it, it contains. Uh, the Three Feathers, Hans, My Hedgehog, classic. A yeah, good one. Better than uh, Sanic. <laughs> <laughs> the story of the one who set out to study fear. Brother and sister, Spindle, Shuttle, Needle, The Twelve Huntsmen, Fitcher's Feathered Bird, oh, classic. Devil and His Three Golden Hairs, uh, All in His Nuts. The Fisherman and His Wife, The Master T Thief, uh, Brother mm -hmm. Gailey, The Goblins, Hansel and Gretel, The Frog King, or Iron Henry. Poor Miller's boy, Frederick and his Kate Elizabeth. Horror. The <laughs> Golden Bird, Bearskin. God, God, homie, you're somehow moving me. Horror. Godfather Death, Many Fur, Rapunzel, uh, Snow White and Seven Dwarves, Rabbit's Bride. The two. I like how I said that like a fucking oh, a frog. Rabbit's Fry Bride. The two journeymen, Ferdinand Faithful and Ferdinand Unfaithful, Mrs. Gertrude and the Cher Juniper Tree. All right, we'll keep it. Horror? Clearly horror. Next, we got uh, Scribbles. Oh, Scribbles? Scribbles, a book. Okay. No, this is uh, Steinberg's The Labyrinth. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Let's find out. What is The Labyrinth is a continuation of Steinberg's autobiography. Great. Uh, who the hell's Steinberg? Doesn't say. <laughs> it just says he's written Steinberg, The Art of Living, The Passport. I feel like I should know who Steinberg is. Well, you can tell from his mega creepy mask that he's wearing. Damn, homie, that's kind of cool. Uh, let me see. Illusion, talks, music, women, cats, dogs, birds, the cube, the crocodile, the museum, Moscow, and Samarkand. In other Western countries, America, motels, baseball, horse, racing, bullfights, art, frozen music, words, geometry, heroes, harpies, etc. That's the fucking thing? That, that's, what? That's the blurb? Hold on, Steinberg. And it's just got like drawings, shitty drawings. It's just got a bunch of drawings in it. Huh. I feel like this could have been a winner, but the drawings are caca. Yeah. <gasps> Steinberg? You won't believe what I just found in here. $300. Guess. $500. Homie, why do you gotta ruin it? What? How much? Just uh, five bucks. No, six bucks. Damn, homie. That almost covers... Wait, I can't lose these. <laughs> that almost covers the gas that we wasted. Yeah. We to get these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you gotta look through all... Dude. It's... Now we gotta look through all these books. <laughs> yeah, that's the bad part. <laughs> gotta, look, gotta look through bears. Let's see what year this was. Uh, 77, 77, 77. 77. Uh, 77. I have a feeling the last time this was read was 77. Yeah. They're all 77s. Damn, homie. Steinberg. Well, it's covered the gas. I literally had to put five bucks in to cover the gas. Nah, homie, I'm gonna sit <laughs> Dude, I wanna leave through St Whoa. Oh, look at this fucking shit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm on the fence with Steinberg, dude. Are you are you just curious to see if there's more money in it? Well that too, but 
I'm on the fence in Steinberg. Let me see. I like the blurb, but the art's kind of whack. Oh. But sometimes it's kind of cool. I'm just looking for money. Fuck Steinberg. <laughs> <laughs> also money. Uh, well, if you find anything else in Steinberg, you, let, you, you can keep it. More Steinberg, like, I mean. More like Stromberg. Oh, cool, dude. Fabulous felt hats. <sighs> Look for money. Man, these are not fabulous, man. Factor fundio. Fundilis? Homie, well, these aren't even hats, man. This is just crap on your head. Dude, I feel like Steinberg. Homie! Wow. If you wear this hat, you should be shot in the face. I feel like Steinberg like bamboozled everyone. Hell yeah, he did. These are suck. all freaking awful, dude. Huh? Oh, Oh, trash. Cyborg girl. Forget cyber girl. Cyborg girl. What is it? Pinball PC game. Oh, dude. Put that on the freaking, uh, you know. Trash? No, no, no. I kind of want it. Why? Just. Are you going to masturbate to cyborg girl? No, it's like a weird oddity, dude. All right, I guess. Oh, no, another cat book. The this, complete guide to cats. This definitely doesn't run on Definitely going to check for money from now on. Nope, is, just a bunch of pussies. In case you in case you ever heard of uh, EA, you know, one of the biggest uh, video game companies. What about uh, Moondoggy? Uh, Moondoggy? Shit, yeah. Dude, it's a Moondoggy joint. I, oh, dude. I kind of want Cyborg Girl. <laughs> oh, whoa, what the, what? What? Hunchback? What? We got the Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Victor Hugo classic, one of your favorites. Hugo. Includes DVD of The Man of a Thousand Faces, Lon Chaney. No, oh. it includes the DVD starring The Man of a Thousand Faces, oh. Lon Chaney Sr. in the original silent classic. That's cool. And it's unopened. That's pretty cool, chum. I'll that, couple that with Cyborg Girl and we got some good multimedia shit. Keeper. Keeper. Six bucks. Cyborg Girl, dude. Yeah, you don't, you don't remember that time, uh, you know, <laughs> you cyborg online. Remember when cybering was a thing? What does that even mean? You know, online sex. I mean, it's still a thing. I feel like sex thing is a thing, but not cybering. What the hell's the difference? Cybering is like a whole event. Like it's like you're building a story with the other person and shit, and you know, it's a thing. Is Jim Holiday there? Yes, definitely that's directing. Good. That's pretty good, then. Marshall McLuhan's... Oh, McLuhan? Uh, the medium yeah. is the massage. An inventory of effects. Uh, I don't know what that means. Damn it. I have no idea what this is. I think it's one of those pretentious-ass garbage books. Pretentious-ass garbage book confirmed... Next, we got Alan Dean Foster's Kuwazel starring bunnies Whoa. or wombats. A wombat? The Kuwazel knew they'd love the third planet from the sun, but it never occurred to them that anyone lived there. Or hate it. Uh, uh, Space 1999, Alien Seed. Oh, yeah, cool. Remember this show? Stinky! I remember Alien Seed. Next, we got some... Ah oh, man, uh, the worst tour book, Florida uh, tour book. Trash. Next we got, dude, grizzly, grizzly years. years. It's pretty grizzly. So how grizzly is it? Pretty grizzly. Man, this person loved grizzlies. Yeah, check for money, homie. <laughs> like that <laughs> non-subtle greed. <laughs> Next we got uh, the saga of the Volsungs. A Volsung? Yeah. Norse epic of Sigurd the Dragon Slayer. You know Sigurd? Oh, uh, Sig? Old Sig Siga, I call him. So we got a Norse epic poem. You know what I think of those? Hit up my Maya Angelou video for that. Damn, Hayden? It's Grendel, dude. I like Grendel. And hate it, apparently. You mean Beowulf? That's right, Beowulf. Oh, another copy of Farewell Summer. This person was just buying shit. Wrinkle in time. There's Wrinkle in time, but I already trashed all the other ones, so I don't give a fuck. We'll check for money, though. <laughs> Next, we got, damn, that sucks. The yeah. best low-fat, no-sugar, 
bread machine cookbook ever. A.K.A. how to make shitty ass bread. A.K.A. what is this again? Bread. <laughs> oh. A.K.A. goo eats. <laughs> Nobody wants to eat that. Anyway, next we got a hundred malicious little mysteries. Damn, homie. I feel like this is ripe for having money in it. I feel like this wasn't even touched. It's one of those Barnes and Noble books that people get. And they think they're going to read them, but nah, they clearly won't. Oh, yeah, I have several of those. To be fair, that's all your books. Damn, homie. <laughs> it's a bunch of reprints from Ellery Queen Mystery Magazine, so you know I'm going to hate. Next, we got Frederick Pohl's The Siege of Eternity. I like when Fred Frederick's Pohl sieges my eternity. That made sense, right? Oh, Woof. Woof. It's stinky. It made sense, right? No money in that, so let's get him the pole in the ass. Here we got an analog science fiction and fact magazine. More like anus log. Clearly going to get trashed, man. Who wants this? Oh, we got a card in here. Cardiovascular consultants Cool. in Washington. I might need that. <laughs> These person been around, whoever this was. Yeah, no shit. Uh, next, we got a cooking healthy with soy. Shit, soy. So, uh, you know, nobody likes that. Soy boy? Soy boys. We're more like dough boys. No money. Uh, the wolves of Mount McKinley. No, that was wolves? Yeah, man. I feel like she got bored of, of grizzlies and moved on to wolves. I feel and... like the wolf book is older, though. Look at it. True. It's just cheaper, though. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, that's the second one. You gotta yep. give me it. Hell no. Dude! I just got the first one. What are you talking about? I haven't about? gotten shit. I got freaking uh, Cyborg Girl. Why would I keep the first one and the fourth one? You already got a first one. You got the whole collection. So do you. Exactly. So check me? <laughs> <laughs> so here we got the restaurant at the end of the universe. Oh, I thought it was the first one again. Douglas Adams. Not that it matters. You uh, clearly wouldn't have Hitchhikers. <laughs> Oh, if it was uh, another one of the first one, yeah, yeah, of course. I what if it was Cyborg Girl? No, Cyborg Girl, <laughs> I'll trade you, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Keeping that, gotta love Douglas. Only saving grace so far in this, besides the the Hunchback and the, what, what, what else was it? Cyborg. Was it? Cyborg Girl? Oh, we got the John Grisham's The Pelican Brief. Oh, the Grish? It's about that time, uh, you know, they put some underwear on pelicans. Pretty good. Good one. Actually, it's, uh, it's pretty good, too. Um... Movie that is. <laughs> Serious? I'll read that. I'll read that. I'm not big on law books as one. So, oh man, another bunny book, dude? Yeah, that's bunny the shit. The House Rabbit Handbook. It's trash, dude. Basura. Let's see if there's any money in it, though. Oh, yeah. Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what we got here. Uh, what? Raclette? Simply delicious recipes and the ch and the cheese primer, everything you need to get started. So that's the thing. The time honored Swiss meal of raclette is taking raclette, raclette, raclette. I'm gonna say, uh, it's taking to new culinary heights here with mouth watering combinations of melted cheese with meats. That's it. That's raclette. Go to melt some cheese on shit. Could have done that myself. In that case, I'm a raclette spurt. Utopia or Oblivion? The prospects for humanity. This is the worst way to end this box. What? Hating? Yeah, who cares about this? It's a utop Utopia or Oblivion. Here's a provocative and challenging blueprint for the future by one of the world's leading philosopher-scientists. The mm. thesis. Mankind has, perhaps for the first time, the prospect of a world of maximum abundance. Clearly, we're going to just fucking kill each other and eat each other. Oh, wait, there was this one that I didn't... Uh, oh, that's not any better. We got uh, Invitation to Camelot. Enchanting new tales in the glorious age of King Arthur. Even as an Arthurite, I tell you I don't want to read this. Candalu. Stinky! Yeah, that's bad. So what, what's your verdict, man? I gotta say, this box was fundillos and flor. It did have a uh, hunchback, though. Hunchback and, and uh, Douglas and Adams. The Douglas... Doug it had uh, that Soy Boy book. Soy Boys? It, had, it gave me this very, very going to be needed a cardiovascular card. <laughs> Unfortunately, those guys died. Damn, homie. They had a heart attack. Yeah, they did. Kandalu. 
Emo clue. <laughs> yeah, that's um, bad. Just some helpful advice if you're ever on a, on a distant planet and a bunch of aliens are encroaching on you. And it, lo- it looks hairy, man. Yeah, it's looking it's hairy. Like all the ETs are coming. All the ETs, and they're all called ET. Yeah. Uh, just lay this nugget out on them. Emo clue. And uh, they'll shoot you immediately on the spot. Yep. Anyway, that was another box, man. We still have a, a few to go. What is it? A couple to go? Two. Uh, let us know what you think about this. This was a this was a box we went through. Yeah, it wasn't it? good. <sighs> anyway. I feel like we've oh, wait a minute. Too. No, wait. Oh, dude, the emo glue cash. How did we forget the cash? We got the cash in there? Well, the you, cash box? You got the cash. Hell yeah, I got the cash. I got the freaking... Making it rain. Gotta pick these up again. Yeah, dude, don't lose those. Clearly gotta put gas Clearly again. Clearly need gas. Gas goes in like a mug. Dude, your anyway. car is insane gas waster. Oh, yeah. I like how sometimes it wastes so much gas that we're like, how? Yeah. And then other times we're like, dude, we're like literally in Canada and somehow we haven't spent a fucking drop. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, we're out, guys. Hit like, subscribe, notification buttons. <laughs> Until next time. Emo clue. Emo clue.